What is up, guys? We are back with another couple episodes of Going For It. Uh, you will see your first appearance of Mike Spillane in uh, this round of uh, some Going For It podcast. Uh, you'll also see a couple new segments I did with Craig. Uh, we called it Carry On Craig, where Craig kind of just gets on a soapbox and talks about whatever he wants, which is basically just the podcast, but uh, a little more a little more focused from Craig for a couple minutes. And In the Pocket, which is a breakdown of the QBs in that division that we talk about in the offseason, just kind of how we feel about them, rank them, a lot of top fives, all that good stuff. So we have even a little bit of draft talk. So that is what we got going on in going for it. At this time, uh, you guys can hope to see some more content more regularly from us. As you can see, I got my setup finally ready to go. I'm repping my New York Giants. All of this stuff was recorded pre-free agency and pr like right after the J.J. Watt signing. So we don't have anything super duper up to date, but I wanted to release it anyway so you guys could get our takes and see how we're feeling. Uh, that will be coming to a screen near you right now. Is a new segment that we're also doing here at Going For It, and mm -hmm. it's called Carry On Craig. What we're going to do is we're going to give Craig his opportunity to soapbox yep. the man you may not know or you absolutely know because you're watching this and you're only doing it as a favor for Craig or myself That's right. is you are going to just hear Craig get on his soapbox and rant about whatever topic in the NFL or world he chooses <clears throat> to choose. And this week, I'm going to hand it over. Carry on, Craig. Oh, God, I love the sound of that. And no one else will. So player empowerment we are in the age of the empowered player and a lot of people have a lot of feelings on this and mine is it's it's very good for the league it doesn't feel that way for the league it doesn't feel that way for the old school fans it doesn't feel that way for the ownership but the age of player empowerment has come to the nfl for for decades we had guys getting literally shit on with bad contracts position layered contracts Contracts that were, oh, because you're a certain position, you only get this. Because you're the, the running backs were screwed for years on that. Uh, it had no frame of relevance to the actual things they did on the field or what they mattered to the team. And then some things happened. And, and you really kind of pinged on one because we're living in it in real time. Brady moving. And Brady moving people with him started some of this change. Then we have... The holdouts, which is not a new thing. We've been seeing that peppered into off seasons for what? A decade, maybe longer. There were holdouts even before that. There were quarterbacks that got drafted that literally didn't want to go play for that team. Eli was one of them. Player empowerment gets shit on by the elite, if you will. And I think it's time, and I don't just mean this to be a social commentary, but maybe it is accidentally that. That's bullshit because – the what the players are doing on the field is the reason we're watching. OK, yes, I'm buying the dolphin gear and I want the dolphins to do good. But I just told you I'm watching Red Zone. Why am I watching Red Zone? It's a bit more fun than watching Tua dink and dunk between the 20s and not scoring. OK, and maybe that makes me a deluded fan. Judge me if you want. I don't give a shit. I'm saying that the player empowerment movement is in it and it's time to get on board. It's time to stop complaining that. I can't believe these guys are holding out and start realizing that if you were in their same shoes, you would do exactly what they're doing. If a man told you, if your name is Deshaun and gave you a hundred and whatever the hell it was, $160 million and said, I'm going to let you be in the room when we talk to the next coach for you and the next GM. And then he doesn't, you would feel exactly as he does. So I'm, I'm tired of people saying like, what do you mean? Shut up and play. Or I know this is switching sports, but the, the Laura Ingrams in the world of the, of the right wing crazies and some left wing crazies that told LeBron to shut up and dribble. You're an idiot for even uttering that. He has more cultural relevance than you. P he moves people's hearts and minds by doing the thing he's good at. And then when he says something, more people listen to him because of that. The player empowerment movement is something I'm passionate about because I've always been a player guy, right? And we all like teams and we all like individual players on teams. Well, I shouldn't say that. Some people just like their teams. But the players are the currency of the league, man. And if without great players, your views go down. Without Patty Mahomes wanting to play, without Deshaun Watson wanting to play, the product on the field is diluted. We know this from – Friggin' lockout years. We know this. So get over yourself if you're one of those people that's sitting there saying, 
ah, these guys, they gave, they make too much money and then they don't even want to play. You're wrong. Put yourself in that person's shoes and understand that they're setting themselves up for the best exposure they can have, the best earning potential they could have. That's just like you at your fucking job or whatever you're doing. So that I got a little hot there. I had to come back. to. I got into it. I didn't know I was even going to get into it. But I got into it because these players get shit on because they're making a lot of money. And I think you got to look at the money as relative to the income of what the team is bringing in. You can't base it on like, it's the same reason like some people get shitty because a CEO made a lot of money and maybe they shouldn't make as much as they make, but they're always going to have to make more. There's too much on them. The quarterback is going to get paid more because there's they're Atlas. They have the goddamn world on their shoulders in that game. So they're going to make more. So I'll, I'll come on down. We're going to watch some people punch one another. That'll bring me down. But the age of player empowerment is an opportunity for you as a fan to get in and not be on the outside going, these guys are entitled. It's not entitlement. It's appropriate.